number 12 of 1500 hello thank you for watching first things first we do have a twitter follow us there and we also have an instagram and we will be doing something very special with our instagram i will explain later facebook is too is up and running and follow us right here if you're watching on youtube if you are watching on our website www.allsapiens.com thank you oh so much you are an absolute superstar for watching it there we have a discuss feed so we can post kind of relevant kind of data and information and more lengthy 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 discussions but first thing these are my paintings and this is part two of multiculturalism liberalism and security pick two so yeah i mentioned lee kuan yu and now now what about this what about this so Remember that you are an Englishman and you have consequently won the first prize in the lottery of life. That was Cecil Rose when he was well and truly standing, right? Is that still true as of today? Although most of the world has caught up. How did they catch up? Well, well, not like this. So like, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do, right? With this, this equation that doesn't really go, doesn't stick, it's not, there's nothing what to glue it together, what to glue all three. So, you know, well, you see, people will pack up and leave for better pastures when there is a sign saying, come hither, a sign at the door saying, welcome, welcome. They just, if they go and they're not going to stay and help make themselves Englishmen, quote unquote, in their own country, right? So if if we say no, and no, and no, and no means no, then effectively people won't come in great numbers and they'll come in smaller numbers and be, be encouraged to become like us, right? No ghettos, no ghettos. You know, this is an obvious fact. Yes, an obvious fact, yet strangely ignored, you know. So, like I say, you know, Africa will be doomed if we, Europe keeps enticing its young men like this and also the South Asian nations need to need to create strong nations of their own the uh, West Asian nations like Pakistan and Afghanistan they, they need to be strengthened with their own own talented people right like we are uh, we, we, we we're okay you know but like when you see people just leave and leave and just you see communities just in Eastern Europe, for example, right? So, anyway, that's that's not what this is about. That's not what it's about. Like, really, truly, any, any extreme Sorry, act, right? Mass migration, mass immigration, any extreme act causes, causes an extreme reaction, right? Our, our social and political problems now, right? The so-called right-wing extremists. <laughs> Factionated and non-existent liberalism that's what it is right but, you know like i said people take their values wherever they go wherever they go so learning from learning from who's done it right not just singapore but you know others that didn't even do it so asians have a east asians have a more more unified view of the past present and a future generations right and a very real nation very real notion of of nationhood a very 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 declarative notion of nationhood right it's a it's a it's a crying shame most westerners remain quite ethnocentric and ignorant of east asia believing believing the western way is the end goal of for all civilizations nonsense cheap labor is that what it is cheap labor is that what it's for for industry cheap labor for industry hmm hmm see you know whatever happens in the west japan will always be japan france will smart france may be something else may never be france i don't know germany germany is ashamed of itself but japan isn't going to give into this kind of new trends this new fashion right you know? korea will always be korea i, I think and you know because people that go there are incentivized to become like the majority, right? There's no angry right wing pushback in Taiwan or etc. Because they're comfortable. They know the future well in some ways you can't predict the future, but it's gonna be 
and it's more of the same, right? Nothing radical, no radical globalists, no radical leftists tearing up their countries, right? Their, their capital cities remain mostly, mostly predictable. You know, they're not fleeing their capital cities. They're not fleeing their cities. So, so what's going on here? Back to cheap labor. Hmm. Well, 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 yeah, cheaper goods, labor costs. Is that really the issue? No, that's not really the issue. Surely not. Switzerland, Norway, USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Israel, Singapore, South Korea, Japan, Taiwan. How, how they all manage to pay their industrial workers, because they do have industry, they still have industry, and they pay them what, more than those cheaper nations who compete only on price. Switzerland has the world's highest per capita income and industrial power paying high wages for its skilled manufacturers, right? There's no need to sell out the country to be competitive when the most competitive nations are unwaveringly circumspect with regards to tearing up what used to be what used to be what used to be what they knew to be true. Their nation. Right? No. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of simple, really. It's kind of really simple, right? I mean, you know, mass migration from Korea into Japan may... Let's see, mass migration from Nigeria into Japan, that will almost certainly end Japan, right? Immigration from Nigeria into Japan may, may end Japan. Let's see. A little bit confused. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so... so Immigration from Korea into Japan, if it's a lot, may change Japan, but they've managed it kind of well, right? It's proving not to end Japan. So mass migration from Korea into Japan may not even end Japan, but it's it's highly likely it could, right? So swap Nigeria or Italy or any other group that has a unique culture, right? And this is all the same. You just can't swap change we're not interchangeable right so you know the, the mass migration of people from culturally compatible wealthy european nations into other increasingly wealthy new world is no 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 comparison because it's like it's as if it's, it's as if sichuanese fujianese cantonese shanghainese and maybe some han koreans it's as if they all descended upon Greenland, and, and years later began calling themselves the United States of Greenland, you know, a success. Look at this new Greenland, it's a success for multiculturalism, right? Because it's true, there is, there, is, there is multiculturalism in name, and there is multiculturalism proper, okay? When you attempt to microcosm the whole world within your own shores, I smell a whiff of colonialism, I sense, in, in, in it all, right? The arrogance of it all, right? The arrogance. Instead, okay, we have the Trump, the Trump. Instead of undocumented, what is undocumented? What, what, the undocumented can use instead of, instead of illegal aliens? Well, that's just, just playing language games. We know what you mean. We know what we're talking about, right? You know, this is doesn't need to be that kind of double speak, that kind of brilliant kind of tweets, you know? So, you know, ignore or twist reality for your own gain, then be prepared to step aside and watch as reality comes to bite you in the ass in a more extreme form, right? If you're not bold and courageous enough to tackle problems, honestly, then you will get F-U-C-K-E-D. When people get fed up and being fed ostensible lies and manipulated, you will always be in a losing reactionary position whilst those who take the real world view become more and more proactive. And with no competent competition in the way, you know, to buffer their acts, to be incapable of addressing the people's concerns is... Well, it's, it's, it's incompetence, it's incompetent politics. To be incapable of addressing the people's concerns is incompetent politics. It's incompetent. You're not fit to rule, not fit to do your job. You know, we've lost liberalism. And make no mistake, it was us who lost. 
Blair and Clinton. You know, you have to study these policies first, and history will will, will tell a tale, right? Before now, it was like, well, how did this get? How did this get so far? You know, it's like, what is xenophobia? What being against unlimited mass migration into your own country? Being against any sort of subtle subversion of your native culture because you have to adapt to other people's laws rather than they, you know, when they get to the shores. If so, I don't understand. We don't understand why, why colonialism, colonialism was morally wrong. Because bring back colonialism only this time in your own shores. It's it's no different, right? Other people's cultures have a right to self determination. Okay, now for the difficult part. That was difficult, but this is difficult in, in another way. So every day I will, I will endeavor to post a, a video of my, my thoughts, my, my, my paintings and my perspectives, or other people's perspectives, not just mine. This is all, 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 all a collage of thoughts. I will do one a day. If it, takes, if it takes longer than expected, I might even post two or three a day, just so I can get the 1,500 of them done, maybe over 300, 400 maybe paintings. It's, it's all ideas, aesthetics, it's all people, it's things that are, are, are people find interesting, people find fascinating. Not necessarily I find interesting or fascinating, but they are for some and that, that is enough. So I, I want, I need to fund this and this is the way I'm funding it this way. The yellow, the pink, the white, the black, the grey you see me wearing, you can wear that or more. I have 15 different colours, we have 15 colours on the website, I hope you're watching on the website, you can just, you can, you can buy now, here and here and here and everything is, is just very straightforward uh, and also it will, it will show the community of people who do like to think the community of curious 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 people who don't who don't take themselves too seriously but take beauty ideas and other people's perspectives very seriously and it's it's just, it's wonderful to have this community so I will I will post on Instagram some of you who want to be posted on the Instagram so you get a bit of Insta fame. That's if you, when you buy the t-shirts, upon points of sale, I will get into contact and say, hey, would you like to be featured on our Instagram? And we have a whole list of the community. It's, it's just a wonderful thing. And thank you for supporting. And here is the link. And thank you so much.